What's up dudes, Hold Fast here and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Done Simply. Uh, in this episode I'm going to show you guys how to simply and easily make a uh, daylight sensor that will um, turn on and off your city lights, town lights, whatever you want. Um, so to make this, uh, this version that I have made here, uh, first we're going to need a actual, an actual brand new daylight sensor. Very simple to make, all you need are three glass, three nether quartz, and three wooden slabs of your choice. Uh, very simple to get, all you need to do is go to the nether, grab some quartz, some uh, sand to make some glass, and some wood and you're good. And that is it. Once that, This is the actual crafting recipe. Put that into your crafting table and you will get one of these fancy schmancy day light sensors. Uh, for this um, example I went a little a little bit more advanced, not super sim not super advanced, but just a little bit. It's very simple to make still. So as you'll notice, all the lights are turned off right now. If I switch it to night, um, it actually takes a little bit of time because there's still enough light that the sensor is still sensing enough light. So we'll just speed that up a little bit by going boop, just like that. So you heard the piston go off when I covered that up, uh, simulating nighttime, and uh, that automatically turns on all our, all of our lights. Let's just and cover that up and turns them all off. This is a nice little... Hmm. That's... that's interesting. Uh, anyways, I have lighting... Or anyways. So to make this, let's just go back to daylight. To make this um, setup, all you need to do is place your daylight sensor on uh, any kind of block, doesn't matter where. Put a piston underneath of it. So I will uh, kind of show you guys how I did that right here. Let's just go up to here. Just to give you guys an example, the reason I did it so high up is because I'm on a... Uh, this is as low as it goes. That is gone. <laughs> so I can't build any any lower than that. So this is why I built it so high. Um, so let's just do that. And then once you do that... Oops, wrong way. Not bad. Just like that. And as you notice, um, since it's daytime, the power is on. Put a redstone, a block of redstone underneath of that. And then from there, all you need is to send your, your circuit out. Actually, let's just no, we'll create a new one. We'll go this way. Into a block of your choice, and your light is powered. Just like that. Now, you're, you're probably asking, why is it powered when these ones are all off? Is it not doing the same thing? No, it is not. I'll show you guys what is happening under here. Just open this up a little bit. So, what we have... You'll notice the power is on, which is sending power to that. If I cover this up, which is a little bit more difficult than it looks since it's a slab. Oh, that's weird. Alright, well that's there. There we go. Why are you not turning off? Let's just go to night time. Usually covering it up. Maybe because it's with dirt? Not sure why it's not covering up. <laughs> yeah, well, anyways, hopefully that'll change in just a second. So basically, this is extended, which uh, this this redstone uh, dust is picking up power from this, which is then powering this block, which in turn powers the block on top. With our example over here, the same thing is happening. This redstone block is down, which is powering this line, which is going to a repeater to send it off. But we have laid out torches torches underneath of our um, lamp blocks. So those torches are acting as an inverter to the signal. So uh, there is power to it, but it's inverted. So the power is off until it's actually... Why is that not doing anything? Maybe... I don't know. Anyways, uh, so the power is off. So all you... Oh, there we go. So now it's, it's dark enough to be nighttime. And uh, our redstone block goes up with the, with the piston because the uh, daylight sensor t has no power anymore which depowers these lines which in turn will automatically um, power these torches which turn on the light uh, so they are a little mini inverter very simple to make though and very well hidden as well uh, this one as you can see went up as well so now there's no power not powering this so the easy way to fix that do that let's go daytime. Uh, I didn't do it right. No. Just do it like this. To get it to be an actual inverter. 
Hmm. Hmm. Why am I not? What am I doing wrong here? <laughs> okay, let's let's do that. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Inverters are a little funny sometimes when you're dealing with simple redstone. So you get the line going in, it inverts the signal and turns off the light. So very easy to make guys, very simple. This is essentially all you need to make your own, your very own um, daylight sensor, which can uh, light up your whole town or village. And if you want to add more to this, simple, 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 just pick a line, really. You can choose any one, as long as you have repeaters in it. So let's just pick this one, go here. Once we start losing signal about here, I like to throw in a repeater. And then I'll throw a line there. Then we have one sand block, or dirt block, sorry, our inverted torch. And then we throw a block on top of that, which is now powered. Boom. So there you go. That's all you would need to do to extend that. And if you want to show it off, let's cover this up. Covered it up. That should cover it up. <laughs> Come on, cover it up. Here we go. Anytime. So basically, I'll tell you, I'll finish off the, the episode while we're telling you. Let's just close this off. Just make sure you, you guys don't uh, sever this line here. So we can just go that one and then throw some, some of that. So now it's powered and you'll notice our new one is powered up. Beautiful, easy as that. This one's not powered for some reason. I don't really understand why. Maybe it's inverted wrong. Eh, anyways, <laughs> this one works. And you can offshoot that in any line, any which way you like. Very simple to do, guys. Um, I hope you enjoy. I hope that kind of helps you guys out. Um, I know it does for me. It helps me light up my my city and my survival world and stuff like that. And well, they're very simple to make, so go ahead and make them, guys. Oh, there goes that. Dark enough. Now it's on. Um, hope you guys enjoy, and uh, hope there's if there's anything else you guys want to see mentioned here in uh, Minecraft on Simply, then let me know down below, and I'll be sure to answer. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. I uh, hope you enjoy. We'll see you next time.